Bitcoin tested the 70K and it failed. Now it is around $64,000 and we're seeing a lot of possible liquidations that might happen if Bitcoin goes below the 64K. Ethereum also not doing very good, but it is keeping above the $3,000. And even though we have these uh, bearish news, there's a lot of bullishness from institutions for Ethereum and for Bitcoin, uh, for Ethereum mainly because of DTF. So let's take a look at some of these articles and let's also do some mobile trading in this video. We're going to open the topics on our phone and then we're going to open a position together here in this video. So stay tuned. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My internet for some reason is not doing uh, very, very good today. So we're not going to be trading on the computer. We're going to be trading on the phone, but I have saved here some articles just so we can uh, talk about some Bitcoin and Ethereum news, mainly because on the short term, the situation isn't good. So if you watch my last video, you will see that we cover the uh, historical data for each and every month of Bitcoin and Ethereum since 2013, 2014. Uh, and there you can see that August usually is a red month for Bitcoin and Ethereum. So this combined with the news that we have right now of Bitcoin uh, failing to go above the 70K, Ethereum um, not moving much. It is kind of sideways, stuck between the 3,000 and 3,400. So with these news, we can see that the prediction is actually for a red month for Bitcoin and Ethereum. So we have here uh, the first article that says that liquidations will start below 64K. And we know that when there's a uh, cascade effect, so a trickle down effect for uh, liquidations, we can see huge red candles all at once. Because again, one liquidation will trigger the next one, the next one, the next one, and it's going to be a very, very high selling pressure. We have a few traders that pointed out that at 63 and 600, so 63,600 dollars, around 3% from the current price of Bitcoin, we're going to start to see liquidations on the Bitcoin side for the long positions. And that, if we look at the range of uh, liquidity on the liquidity map for Bitcoin and USDC, on this liquidity map, we can see that if one liquidation starts to trickle another liquidation and so on and so forth, we could see a fall all the way to the 54,000 dollars because that's where a lot of liquidity is, maybe to buy, maybe to DCA, whatever that could be. But again, I personally do not believe we uh, would see so much liquidations that will bring the price of Bitcoin all the way to 54,000. But these are the numbers that we have regarding liquidity. So how much liquidity is in certain ranges of uh, price of Bitcoin. But on the upside, we have $72,000 as a key number to start liquidating shorts. So if Bitcoin actually touches the 70K again and tests the 72,000, we can see short positions being liquidated in mass as seen by the Binance liquidation heat map here for uh, Bitcoin. That green line is where there's a lot of money Money, and it is around the $72,000 and that would bring a lot of liquidation for shorts that are trying to short Bitcoin right now. On the Ethereum side, situations are not uh, different. Uh, we see um, the price of Ethereum right now is at $3,100, uh, a little bit over. It showed some strength a few days ago, but now it is falling as Bitcoin is falling as well. So it's kind of following uh, the steps that Bitcoin is taking. But we see that the ETF approval has gotten some uh, institutional interest. So that could be more liquidity for the ETFs that could, that is not 100% a thing, but it could bring in liquidity to crypto itself, not only for the ETFs. The question that we have is that if Ethereum can break the $4,000 again, as stated here on this article, uh, personally, it would take a lot of uh, effort and a lot of cash inflow that we're not seeing. If we look at the total value locked for the Ethereum network, we are still around 17.8 million. These inflows could be positive on the ETF side, but again, if they don't translate to inflows on staked ETH or inflow as cash on the Ethereum mainnet itself, we are going to see a stagnant Ethereum as we've been used to for uh, a while now. So now that you have a little bit of understanding of the news, let's take a look on how you can trade options on the topics from your phone. Because again, this is happening to me right now. I think they're working uh, on the uh, cables on the fiber optics here at my apartment complex. So we have to use mobile for this and I'm going to show you how to do that. So I have my phone here and we're going to do a trade together for today. All right. So you can see we are here on the topics on mobile. So I'm going to share the screen right now with you. It is as simple as connecting to Batopics.io. It is the first link in the description as always from your mobile browser. So I use Brave. You can use Safari. You can use uh, Opera GX. Chrome, whatever it is, uh, just log in with your credentials. If you have 2FA, you're going to put in the 2FA and you're going to be in your account 
on your mobile. So very easy. You don't need your wallet if you already have money here in the topics. You don't need to connect to anything else other than your account. So here we have two things that we could do. We could use this uh, mobile version right here, which personally is a little bit crowded. We eventually will going to have better UI for uh, mobile, of course. But again, the primary thing is to have a very good uh, desktop version. So the mobile version could be sometimes a little bit um, crowded here. So what you could do is two things. You can either use this version if you're okay with it. Uh, again, my phone is very slim, so it cramps a lot of things together. But you could also do the uh, desktop version. So you could just go on your settings on the browser settings and toggle the desktop version option. This one is a little bit better, but it could be very tiny for you. The letters, the numbers, it could be very tiny. For me, this one is actually really decent and you could always zoom in if you need to. You can zoom in, you can zoom out. So let's take a look here at um, our positions. So if you go to trade history, you can see that all the four latest options that we sold, we actually were profitable. We did a 0.49, we did a 1.5, a 0.51 and 4%. So these have been profitable and today we're going to sell another option. But today we are going to sell a call because you can see Bitcoin is uh, uh, going down a little bit. So a call could be favorable for us to sell. And here the things are not different from doing it on your computer. For example, you can go on trade map on your phone and look at Bitcoin there. Do your TA, do your technical analysis there uh, on the four hour. We have the daily here on the daily. It looks like it's going to test uh, below because we're below the moving average right now. So a little bit bearish on the one day chart on the four hours. We are also uh, below the yellow AMA. Uh, it tested and it didn't go through. So personally, it makes sense for me to sell uh, a call. So we're going to see the strikes. We go back here to the topics and we're going to see the strikes that we have and the possible payouts that we have. So I'm going to toggle sell and call. It is for tomorrow. And for the strike, we're going to go for 65,500. Uh, we can actually zoom in here a little bit more, just, you know, to take a look. Maybe 65,500 is, is too close. We put right here. 0.1 and that would give us 1338 and we need 870 as collateral. So this would actually give us 1.5 percent return for this option, which is huge, huge, amazing, but too risky for me. So let's go actually above this for one and we go for the 0.1 as always. And now we're going to receive 7.49. So seven dollars and a half and we need 812 in collateral. And this is close to one percent, but it's 0.9 percent. So let's take a look at a strike above again just to see the 66,500. So if we actually go back to trading view and we uh, find out how much percent are we away from the current price, the 66,500 500 is three and a half percent. The 67, uh, let me actually try to find it. The 67 is four and a half, almost four and a half percent away from the current price. So let's take a look at the 67. If it makes sense, we go with that. Otherwise, we go for the 66 500. So we go for the 67 flat and we put 0.1. And now we're looking at 2.68 and we provide $705 as collateral, and that is 0.38% ROI. So this is a little too little. So we take a look at the 66,500. You know, this is the same thing that I did in the other video. We have to keep looking at different strikes to see if the payout is good enough for us to have a good risk reward ratio. So here we are going to put 0.1 again, and now we have $4.28 to $762 in collateral. So 428, and we divide this by 762. So this is 0.56%. This is what I want. I want around a half percent or a little bit less or a little bit more, depending on the strike for each uh, daily option that I sell. So this one is really good. Let's open this one together. We are around 3%, 3.5% away from current price. We're going to sell this uh, and it's going to ask us to lock up the collateral. We click on yes and our uh, option was processed on portfolio. We see that we already opened that. And so this is it. We did our first trade on mobile here uh, together. So we can actually go and look at the other things, how they're doing for the zero DTE. We have uh, actually went down a little bit. It was 18 percent. Now it is a 17. So as I said before, not all days are our winning days, but we're doing a very good job here. 17 um, percent so far. Amazing, amazing returns. And if we go to the uh, earn tab. I have the September options that we talked about. And now we also have more strikes for August. So in the next video, we're going to open a spread together here. Let me know if you want to see that on mobile or on the desktop as well. I don't know if we have more mobile users or just desktop users. But again, let's try to uh, make sure everyone knows how to use these uh, tools here on the topics. So that being said, I hope it was insightful for you to trade from your mobile. And let's hope our call that we sold is very good for uh, tomorrow, which is by the time you're watching this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed 
enjoyed. If you did, leave a comment down below. It helps with the algorithm. And I'm also always here to answer every question that you have. So thank you so much. And I'll catch you guys on Friday. Peace.